This is Jeffrey Gettleman for the New York Times in Nairobi, Kenya. Jane Wanjiro is the mother of six, with a seventh on its way. For the past three months, she has been living in muddy uncertainty, a displaced person whose home is a tent. She was run off her farm in Kenya's Rift Valley during the violence this winter that was sparked by a disputed election. She saw her neighbors get killed. She says now that she will never go back. Do you think you will ever go back to Timberloa? Uh, no, no, no. We want to go back. Why not? Hmm? Why not? Because the people who chased us away are our neighbors. So how can we go and stay there? Your neighbor is there. Is the one who took your cow, your properties. Yes, we can't, we can't go back. <laughs> mm. There are still at least 300,000 displaced people in Kenya and some of them are living on the fringe of the nicest neighborhoods in Nairobi, the capital. Miss Wanjiro and her family are camping just up the road from a fancy mall, but they've never seen it. Some of the displaced people are children who have been separated from their parents or abandoned. Joseph and Naomi Nyaga are brother and sister. They are 10 and 9 years old. Their house was burned down in the Rift Valley and they fled first to a camp near Nairobi. Their mother died there, and their father left them behind. No, we left ahead. We left before our house was burned. I want to stay here and go to school. It's good there. Government workers brought them to Nairobi Children's Home, where dozens of lost or abandoned children live. Some are toddlers, one girl was 16. Many of them had lost their homes and their parents and were uprooted by the election chaos. The home attempts to bring families together. Like if a child comes here and a child is able to talk and give us information right. about where they come from, about their parents, we are able to reunite the, the kids with the parents as soon as possible. Some will even stay for two days. Right. But we have some cases, especially for the very small kids, but they receive children who are even hours old. For them, what do you do? Kenya's President Mwai Kibaki and other government officials have promised to help the displaced people. But the politicians have been preoccupied with forming a national unity government. And so far, very little help has come to people like Miss Wanjiru. Do you still support Kabaki or, or not? We are now not supporting anybody. <laughs> but you voted for Kabaki. We fought for Kabaki, <laughs> voting that he will help us. But now, even a word, his word is only telling us to go back, hmm? and he will build for us. That is. It means nothing. <laughs> mm.